What up brothers, it's Clipper King returning. Welcome back to my channel for a bit of something different today. As promised on Facebook yesterday, I said I was receiving five Hot Toys figures. They've arrived today, so I'm gonna be unboxing those and let's have a look at the Hot Toys all. Before I start, I will say, I did post on Facebook yesterday. A few people on my Facebook page had a guess. I always do shit like that just to get a conversation going more than out, just to see what people think that I'd get. I will say probably the Arkham Batman was the most popular shout, the battle damaged Batman, the Star Lord uh, got a lot of shouts and although I stated it were Hot Toys, a few people said Ghostbusters or the Storm Muhammad Ali figure, all wrong. There is some clever motherfuckers among you because some of you got some of them right but nobody guessed the entire five. So let me bust them open, I'll show you what I've received and also open them up. But before I start cutting these open, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to a guy in the Facebook community called Scott Layden, who I actually picked four of these figures up off. I saw his post on Facebook and I thought, they're some of the figures that I missed during the time I have not been doing no reviews. They are stuff that I bought basically to review and thinking I'm gonna sell on, but I'll probably decide that after I've seen them. So I thought, yep, yeah, the prices look pretty fair. I thought if I buy multiple figures, there's a chance of a deal here. So that's what I did, I approached him with that. It was a really smooth deal. He sent me all the pictures to prove that it was genuine, the pictures that I would have sent out myself. They've arrived the day after he posted, like he said they would. So I'm buzzing to get them cracked open and make sure they're as listed. So massive thanks to Scott Layden. Check out his contact details in the description box below. So the first one I received is the Suicide Squad Joker, and it's the tuxedo version. I will say when it were released, I do quite like the look of it. I probably, if I were to buy one and display one long term, it would have probably been the purple jacket one. Although once I saw what the purple jacket was doing to the figure, I thought probably the tuxedo one's gonna be the better option. I think all the head sculpts look good and I'm looking forward to seeing it in hand. Uh, so that's the reason I picked it up. I will say the Arkham Asylum one, I weren't really interested in. It didn't bring enough for me. So, like I said, I'm buzzing to see that, just to see if the head sculpt's as good in hand as it's looked on the pictures. Second, as you can see, it's the Captain America Civil War Black Panther figure. I'll just let you in on a little secret. During my time away from YouTube, when I weren't really doing many reviews, so last, I don't know, eight or ten months, there were two figures that were really hard not to pick up day one to review. One of them were Wonder Woman, because I wanted her to go with a Batman and Superman. The other one was this. I was so close to pulling trigger on it because I'm a sucker for a figure that looks like it's going to pose well. I hope it poses as well as I expect it to because I think I can get dynamic with it. But uh, yeah, I'm just buzzing to finally have it in hand because I've really waited for it. Not that I could never have got it sooner. It was just I was waiting for a right price or a time when I were ready to start reviewing again and it just came along at right time. Next, as you can see, is a Doctor Strange figure. And sort of the reverse of what I've just said about Black Panther, this on release, I never really saw after because sometimes certain figures, you can look at the things that are included. So I'm thinking about the kind of spells that go onto his hands and also figures that have a lot of layers of clothing like this one seems to have. You think it looks good, but with all them clothes trying to pose it, this this review could be a total and utter pain in arse. So that is what we're expecting from this figure. But I will say the head sculpt always looked amazing on the pictures I saw and other reviews that I've seen. So again, looking forward to see what I can do with it. And next is the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. Again, I've seen a few reviews on this. Some have done some really good work on it. I would say that of the version I've seen coming, I think this is the best head sculpt, so this would be the one I would want. Although I will say, I thought Suicide Squad were absolute dog shit. So I would never thirst in for any of the figures from that line, simply because I knew I would never keep them. I don't like the film enough. But I will say what I've seen of the figure, it does look really nice. I'm looking forward to getting it posed up. Although there's one massive issue with the figure that I've seen, and everybody else knows about it, so I'll just give you my thoughts on it when I do review it. That's really the reason that I want to have a look at it. See if it's as bad in hand as it looks in the pictures. And lastly, hot off the press, fresh from Hong Kong, is the Back to the Future 2 
Marty McFly. So I'm looking forward to opening that one as well. So stick with me and I'll show you all the figures out of the box. Right, so I've finally got them all out, unpackaged, laid out. We'll just give you a quick look out of the box. So quick thoughts, but obviously there'll be a review of every figure coming up. Before I do, I just say to Scott Layden, massive shout out to you, pal. I've bought a lot of pre-owned uh, pre figures before it passed. And I've got to say, I don't know if you've ever displayed them or where you've had them. But there's not even so much as a crease on outfits. Everything looks brand spank. I don't know if he's bought them, put them in his loft or ever, and then just sold them to me. Because everything looks like brand new. The joints are still nice and tight. Everything moves correctly. All the packaging were awesome, so respect to him for that. So, let's get in and have a look at what I got. I will say, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not a massive fan of Suicide Squad. But, when I unboxed Harley Quinn, I've got to say, it's one of the best figures I've seen straight out of the box. It's so impressive. Like I said earlier, there's, there's a well-known sort of problem with this figure and I'll pick up on it on the review but all in all she is a right figure the head sculpt's amazing in fact my youngest daughter actually looked at when she came back in earlier on she's like oh Harley Quinn's amazing and I'm like it's not like her to notice and it is it's a top top figure straight out of the box so look out for the review on that just to show you the stuff that she brings the hands weapons bracelets necklace or choker it does have the mallet, baseball bat, and the handbag. So that is a right figure. Moving back to the Tuxedo Joker. Again, awesome head sculpt. I knew it were, and in hand, it's just really nice. Really, really nice. Moving down his accessories. So the walking cane, the pistol, the gold rifle, AK-47, I think. Some additional buttons, some wrist pegs, the grenade, some spare hands. So again, another really nice figure. At the front here, this is probably the one I'm looking forward to most, if I'm honest. The Black Panther. Doesn't bring a lot, as you can see. Just some spare hands, wrist peg, the stand. But it is a beast looking figure. And it's one of them. You can get the body lines really... Really comic book, really uh, hero pole, so I do like that about it. Again, really nice figure, looking forward to reviewing that. And then at the back, you see the Doctor Strange figure. Again, another awesome figure. I think the first thing you sort of think when you take the figure out is, is the cape going to be any good? Because Hot Toys have got a reputation of doing shit capes. So that one at first things on my mind. Uh, I'm quite impressed with the cape actually, in all honesty. But again, each figure has uh, plus and minus points, I'll cover them. The accessories are pretty good and you get plenty of them. Although some of them are quite rude. And uh, some of them look like they might be a little bit irritating. But we'll get into that. And then the newest release one is the new Marty McFly. And I've got to say straight away, it is a really nice figure. If you've got this on pre-order, I think you'll uh, enjoy getting it. There's a lot to like about it. Again, there's a uh, sort of a downer on it, and I'll cover that when I get into the review. Just to show you the stand, sort of shoe container, focus. The other air sculpt, Pepsi, the watch, newspapers, selection of hands, and then the carrier bag with the Grey's Sports Almanac popping out the top. So all nice figures. Uh, like I said at the beginning as well, not a lot of people guessed all those. I think the only one that nobody got was Black Panther. I think somebody or other guessed the other four, but uh, just a bit of fun for you. Like I said, look out for the reviews. I will do Marty McFly first. And then if you want to leave some comments on this video saying which one you would like me to review after Marty McFly or in which order, then I will listen to your ideas. Uh, but for some reason, obviously, if I'm going to do the Harley Quinn, I might throw the Joker in with it, or if I'm doing the Joker, you might see Harley Quinn as well. So, another video done. Hope you've enjoyed that. But for now, I'm out of here.